there is no way I am leaving our staff to the fate or this absolute, what we know is coming, this absolutely horrendous fate, um, especially our young female staff. I mean, the potential is, you know, they'll be married off to a Taliban fighter. They'll never be allowed out of the house. And that is where they will stay for the rest of their lives. That they do not deserve that. We gave them hopes, aspirations for the future. And then we just said, no, we're leaving. It's incredibly upsetting. Um, I think from a realistic perspective, I think most people involved in these events were aware that there would be a degree of a return to some form of power sharing agreement with the Taliban. However, the speed of the collapse of the Afghan government um, has been absolutely breathtaking. My husband, Corporal Lee Scott, was killed in Afghanistan in 2009. Hearing everything that's been happening in Afghanistan over the past few days has stirred up so many different emotions for me and our children. I set up Scotty's Little Soldiers in 2010 following Lee's death to support bereaved British forces, children and young people. This is such a difficult time for the families we support and it is so important that people remember how personal this is for the families who have experienced the death of a loved one due to serving in Afghanistan. This is something that will um, you know, touch the veteran community and, 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 and those still serving uh, to the very core of their beliefs. You know, this is, this is a policy. The war in Afghanistan has been for 20 years. It, it defined my generation, the global war on terror, it defined my generation of, of, of soldiers and airmen and sailors who, who, who deployed to Afghanistan and Iraq. Um, so to see the, the hard work uh, that has been achieved in Afghanistan over the last 20 years, almost undone overnight in, in the space of around 72 hours, is just, it, it, it's actually beyond upsetting um, and, and, and frustrating to see. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's incredibly painful to watch, I'm afraid. We didn't even attempt to negotiate with the Taliban. The only deal we made was, yeah, we're going to leave, don't shoot us in the back. That was it. We could have forced the Taliban to the table and then things would be, be so much different today than what they are. This is just pure desperation here and... I have no words. I am embarrassed to be British and part of what we have just done. This is just shocking. I am incredibly proud of the work that Lee and all who served in Afghanistan did. They helped many Afghan people experience freedom and new opportunities. Whatever happens in the days that follow, that legacy will live on forever. At the heart of Scotties are the young people we support and we want to remind you that we're all thinking of you and we're here if you need us. Like my family, you can be so proud of the service your parent has given to our country.